So, they didn't really say that. That's crazy. Stick around to find out more. That's crazy. We're a quotable society, and we love to echo each other's famous words. However, many of the most popular quotes we love to recount are actually wrong. Here are some of our favorite legendary misquotations. Let us know which misquote you found the most surprising in the comments section. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell. You'll be glad you did. Oh yeah, and stick around for number one. That just might surprise you the most. Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. This short, pithy quote has long been attributed to Gandhi. And although the message sounds right, the words don't exactly sound like his. The New York Times states that the closest quote we have to this that we know was said by Gandhi is, if we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. We need not wait to see what others do. Machiavelli, the ends justify the means. Machiavelli certainly seemed to have this attitude in mind when he wrote his 16th century political manifesto, The Prince. Still, he didn't actually say it. And instead, a similar quote we do have attributed to him is less ruthless. One must consider the final result. Another, almost identical quote can be attributed to the poet Ovid, who wrote in Heroitus, the result justifies the deeds. Neil Armstrong, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This one's a bit weird and complicated. Neil Armstrong is often quoted as having said, that's one small step for man, which, grammatically, is not what he meant to say. In this sense, the word man represents the same idea as mankind, making the quote kind of wonky. However, Armstrong swore for years that he said the words a man, and that people were unable to hear the word a. Uh. Over time, he relented, saying he might have misspoken simply because he was nervous. But in 2006, a computer programmer actually analyzed the audio and stated that the word a uh, was in fact said. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Tom Hanks did an incredible job portraying the fictional lead character. Forrest Gump in the iconic movie of the same name. Sitting on a bench in a sleepy southern town, offering chocolates to strangers, even though they had no idea where the chocolates came from. Kids, don't take candy from strangers. Forrest quotes a metaphor told to him by his mama as he is sharing his life story with anybody who will listen. Unfortunately, most of the internet has gotten his quote wrong. He actually said, life was like a box of chocolates. I know, is versus was is kind of nitpicking, but it seems that most people remember him saying is. I actually did, and I've watched the movie 15 times or more. Is this an example of a phenomenon we're gonna cover in our next video? Marie Antoinette, let them eat cake. Marie Antoinette never actually said this. Instead, it came from a book titled Confessions, by Jean-Jacques Rousseau, which was published in 1782, 11 years before Marie Antoinette was executed. Also, the line was, let them eat brioche, a kind of heavy, bread-like French pastry. It's likely the attribution to Marie Antoinette occurred because the people of France were highly incensed with the royals, and the belief their callous monarch could have been so cold simply fueled the flames of revolution. Gloria Steinem, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Gloria Steinem herself actually credits Australian writer Irina Dunn with this phrase, which Dunn says she wrote on the door of public bathrooms when she was a student in the 70s. According to Steinem, the quote is directly related to the witticism, God needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. You too used the line well once, catching the additional irony of the idea when sung by a man. Marilyn Monroe. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Marilyn Monroe never said this. Instead, 
It was a quote from writer and Harvard professor Laurel Thatcher Ulrich. In addition, the wording used was, well-behaved women seldom make history. Ulrich penned the quote in 1976 and wrote a book with the same title in 2007. Oscar Wilde, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Although this sounds exactly like something Wilde himself would say, these words are never actually a part of any of his writings. He has similar quotes that we can certainly attribute to him. And one is this, most people are other people. Their thoughts are someone else's opinions, their lives a mimicry, their passions a quotation. Patrick Henry, give me liberty or give me death. Patrick Henry's 1775 speech at the Virginia Convention wasn't written down, so we have no record of what exactly he said on that day. The quote comes from William Wirt's biography of Henry, which he wrote in 1817, and which was widely discredited by his peers, like Thomas Jefferson. In addition, the famous quote is also very similar to one from a play written in 1712. It is not now time to talk of aught, but chains or conquest, liberty or death. Darth Vader, Luke, I am your father. Okay, so this one is also from a movie, but it's probably one of the most famous lines in film. Too bad Darth Vader never said it. In Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. As Luke Skywalker is cradling a lightsaber injury and dangling from a pole, Darth Vader approaches him and says, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough, Luke Skywalker said. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father, replied Darth Vader. So does that blow your mind? Why do so many people remember Luke instead of no? Be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to find out when we post our next video that will cover that very topic. And please let us know in the comment section which misquote you found most surprising. We can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Rick James asking you to keep it crazy.